Hey guys, today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Legends series X-Men 97 Wave 2 Cyclops based on the upcoming series that's releasing this month, I believe. So, yeah, and pretty much this figure is a good enough figure. I'm not going to act like this is the greatest figure ever or, or something like that, but... I think this figure is good enough. It's a good representation and it's a good option and opportunity for those who who missed out on the previous 90s Cyclops figures in the past by Hasbro. I think our first 90s Cyclops by Hasbro in Marvel Legends 6 inch form was the Warlock build a figure series. I could be wrong. And the second attempt was him with the jacket in the Love Triangles uh, 3 pack. And last year we got the uh, VHS Cyclops figure. So, yeah, which was a Disney and Hasbro Pulse exclusive, which was like a Disney store or online exclusive. But yeah, and this is our fourth attempt from Hasbro. And I'm going to say it's not a bad figure. It's a good uh, looking Cyclops figure. And like I said, great opportunity for those who missed out on the previous releases. And it's very straightforward. It's Pretty much what you see is what you get. Uh, I had the VH VHS Cyclops figure, but on my VHS Cyclops, his ankle snapped. And I will say on this one, it works. So, yeah. But I was super mad and pissed that my VHS Cyclops ankle snapped on me. And I tried the hair dryer or the blow dryer and the hot water technique and it still didn't work but at least on this one I have none of these issues but I will say the knees the double jointed knees on mine were actually like stiff I mean they work now because I use the hot water or the uh, blow dryer technique and they work now but yeah and I'm just gonna say the look of this guy he looks great like I will say the head is a little bit cartoony which makes sense because it's based on the animated series and he has a smirk going on, which to me screams more of Marvel vs. Capcom or X-Men vs. Street Fighter Cyclops to me. Like, just seeing him smile like this, this looks more like video game Cyclops rather than the actual animated series. And I'm sure he smiled in the animated series and in the 90s comics before, I'm sure. But, I don't know, just... From what we've seen of the new upcoming animated series, he just had more of a serious look, which I kind of wish they gave us the VHS head sculpt just to add more options, just to have a more stern, serious Cyclops. But the smirk face doesn't seem too bad. I don't really like the gold color on the visor because it doesn't match the rest of the yellow. And if you look at the packaging right here and even in the trailers for X-Men 97, Cyclops does not have a gold visor. It's a yellow visor like the rest of his outfit. So I just find it a weird choice why they gave us kind of like this gold pearlescent, almost like a translucent look uh, to this visor, but whatever, like not that big of a deal. Uh, you have his X logo right here. I like these black lines just because in the original animated series and in the new one, he has these. So I think that's really cool, but yeah, like I said, it's very straightforward. And if you own the VHS figure, it's the same figure just without the cell shading and you got a different head sculpt but yeah like I said nothing too crazy it's basically like I said straightforward but yeah and for accessories uh this one not a fan of these uh hands because they're basically just flesh hands casted in yellow plastic and they try to fool us into thinking these are gloves just like the vhs one they did last year i hated that th then and i hated this now like come on man like look at this you can see the veins on these like these are just normal fleshed hands just casted in yellow plastic you can see the fingernails in here too like what the fuck <laughs> and i get it you know every toy company reuses parts but reuse the right parts please like I'm never going to display Cyclops with these hands, to be honest. Like, this, no. These are not gloves. These are just regular, normal hands in yellow plastic. 
disguised as glove hands. So yeah, absolutely not. And he has this hand, which to me, I consider this more of a win pose, Marvel vs. Capcom or X-Men vs. Street Fighter win pose that he does in the video games. Because I know, I get it, some people would use this as a optic blast um, finger. But when it comes to 90s Cyclops, he rarely ever does this. Because if you look at the front cover of the X-Men comics from the 90s, he just had both of his fists and fires his optic blast basically at will. Even if you watch the original cartoon, and I'm sure the newer cartoon will probably be the same way where he won't even touch his visor, he'll just use his optic blast, but yeah. And, and you can swap hands, of course, and he has a fist, two sets of fists. So there you go. That's basically how it looks. So two open hands, two fists, and one blasting, you know, one optic blast hand or wind pose hand. And he comes with this alternate head, which basically kind of looks like this angry, screaming head with the uh, optic blast effect. And, and you guys see those lines, one side has lines and one side is like flat. I think the lines have to be under because it fits in flush with this. It has like this peg right here. I'm gonna try and do this on camera. And there you go. You connect it like that, it looks flush. It looks like it fits in properly. So you swap the head, kind of just add it in. Kind of like that. I know it's a little high and it's a little stiff, so let me do this off camera. So there you go, just like this. And then move his head up like that and you can see the lines under it. And that's basically the optic blast. Like pretty much, that's also one of his wind poses, I believe in Marvel vs. Capcom and X-Men vs. Street Fighter like this. And yeah, pretty much straightforward. So we'll go over the articulation and comparison and we'll end this video. So articulation, pretty much the same as the VHS if you own the VHS figure. So hinge, ball jointed neck, you know, with the hinge, uh, shoulders move out forward. It has a butterfly joint too. So you can cross his arms and do the whole behold optic blast pose. Uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, wrist rotates and it has a hinge. Torso articulation, which to me is kind of useless. It's kind of, and it has like that snap noise, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, waist articulation, ball jointed hips, goes out like this much, not too bad. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Mines are a little stiff, but double jointed knees. Calf swivel, and then ankle rockers or a hinge with the rocker but yeah there you go so that's the articulation for this figure and for a size comparison let me just move everything out of the way right here and i have this mcfarland toys uh batman six pack uh george clooney batman right here so let me just move the package out of the way. And there's your size comparison, a seven inch figure and a six inch figure. You know, it's funny because they're both from 1997 because the original X-Men animated series ended in 97. And now Disney is doing a new show, you know, called X-Men 97. Batman Robin, the movie came out in 1997. Fun fact, I was born in 97. So there's like a correlation that's not really that deep, just something I noticed and I think it's cool. But yeah, and then packaging, nothing to write home about. It's just Marvel Studios, X-Men 97. You have the X-Men characters right here, Cyclops, Cyclops uh, name in the back of the other, uh, the back of the packaging with the figure and other figures or characters in the line, which I'm not gonna get. I just wanted the Cyclops and just be done with it. And not a fan of this price, $24.99 at GameStop. 
Like I had this guy pre-ordered on Amazon, and but I found them in GameStop. I went in GameStop not expecting anything, and uh, he was there. He was the last one there, and I picked him up and canceled my Amazon pre-order. And there you go. Like I said, this figure's not bad. Uh, it could be better, but just because I wish he came with an extra head sculpt, which is the VHS version, because they gave us whoops, they gave us the smiling head and the angry head i would love for us for them to give us the vhs you know stern serious face just because and i know some people are like oh hasbro doesn't give us an extra third head sculpt but they did in the past when they made a marvel legends chameleon which came with j jonah jameson's head and hammerhead's head sculpt so i felt like one more head sculpt would have benefited the figure and the price which is 24.99 i still think 24.99 for marvel legends is too expensive but yeah, there you go. That's my review, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.